Welcome, everyone. This is the WNBA on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Connecticut Sun in this one as they go up against the New York Liberty. And from the home of the Liberty, I'm Blake Suniga, courtside with Tim Schwartz and Brian Benefitemi. Thanks for tuning in for this one. Tip-off goes to Connecticut. Very little locked in at this point, but sometimes it feels like the best teams are just waiting for the playoffs to begin. Well, we gotta remember, these players are human. You know, they're not robots. It's a trying season, but this is where leadership comes into play. An experienced player who can grab the attention of the locker room on the bench is vital. And Brian, I think that coming from a player is different than coming from a coach. Just another level of respect there. It also helps the coach. Only so much instruction can come out of their mouths before players start to tune it off. And the shot is good. What fantastic touch from Nurse. It's a huge ace up her sleeve. The ability to put it in the hoop from inside. Right here, right Thomas, here. right side. Poked oh. away. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Liberty. About one minute played here so far in the first. Outside Boyd. Charles shoots over Thomas. Charles, no good. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish him there. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Now here's Boyd. Nurse outside. Shoots over Williams. And Jones pulls it down. And here's Connecticut. Thomas outside. Back to Jones. Yep, that goes. Staying engaged throughout the course of a game allows Thomas to make crisp, precise passes to her open teammates. Boyd can't get it to go. Tough D on the inside. Sure was. No easy access to the bucket when she's in the middle. And that one good. Nice accurate pass right into the middle. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Nurse outside. Clock at six. Pass to Boyd. That's the three five. Offensive rebound. Charles, that's good. There aren't many better in league history on the O board. Charles is tenacious on the glass and getting the hoop. Thomas, right side. On the wing, Courtney Williams. Back to Jones. Strickland, guarded by Charles. And here's Jasmine Thomas for three. New York with the rebound. Left side, Boyd. Back to Nurse. Boyd. Outside Charles. Pass to Nurse. Zowie B. Stolen by Jones. First quarter of play and just over three and a half minutes in. Back to Thomas. Ball's knocked loose, and there's a shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. And the Liberty with possession here. Now Boyd, looking for a first basket still in this one. The shot by Nurse, no good. Outside, Williams. Pass to Thomas. Outside, Williams. 
Got a piece of it. Boyd with the steal. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. Here's Nurse. Can't tie it up as that one misses. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. Yeah, the floor really opened up for her there. And that was not a good reaction from the defense. Yeah, they look real slow. Well, not many players can do it all, but Alyssa Thomas is one of the few who can. Now, she's the rare player who has finished top five in the WNBA in assists and rebounds. Four on the clock. Here's Nurse. The shot, no good. Excellent D from Alyssa Thomas. Yeah, and then she has been way off the mark this quarter. It is getting rough. Foul call that time on the way up. And that'll give her two chances at the free throw. Adding to her offensive exploits, Thomas has also finished amongst the lead leaders in steals. Yeah, remember, guys, she's been on uh, all defensive teams before. But Thomas is a type of player coaches love because she can help you win multiple different ways. In the 2011 WNBA draft, Thomas played in her first 204 games before finally missing one. And that one falls, so she hits both of them. Well, when it comes to defending guards, Jasmine Thomas is one of the best in the league. She's a 5'9 guard who is just tenacious and constantly drawing the opposing team's best guards. Timeout called the Liberty. And, and Thomas answers the call night in, night out. A fixture on the all-defensive first team. Thomas plays with full effort. She's got quick hands, great moving her feet. She takes so much pride in her defense. Here's Nurse. Pass to Allen. Zowie B. Six on the shot clock. Here's Durr. Can't get the three to fall. The Sun leading. Here's Strickland. On the money from 12 feet away. And now we see them really working it inside. Yeah, getting quality looks around the rim. That's fueling this run. Now here's Charles. Nurse outside. Back to Charles. And that comes off the assist by Ian Nurse. And here's Thomas. Thomas outside. in she's got two made now and she's shooting two for three keeps defenders uncomfortable and i think it's because of thomas's ability to play assertive but composed around the rim now here's nurse pass to charles Durr. now in the scoring column with that deuce one for two this game what a gritty effort from Durr on the contact finish. No foul, no problem. Outside Clarendon. Jones outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Zowie B. They get it back. And that one's good. Jones. 
They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. Here's Nurse. Whoa! And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. It's going to be on John Quell Jones. Well, coming into the WNBA with incredible experience at the point guard position, Kia Nurse was one of the stars for Team Canada in the 2016 games. Shooting two. The first one falls. So she makes both from the line. Well, the New York Liberty, a marquee franchise in the WNBA. One of the chartered teams in the league. But unfortunately, they're still looking for their first title. Here's Bannum. Jones outside. Close one up. Stolen by Zowie B. In transition, here come the Liberty. Durr, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. And with the Liberty, as you said, that first championship, something they are searching for. New York has come close several times. They've played in four WNBA finals. And this team is desperate for a banner, but it just hasn't been in the cards for this team. And with the Sun, they have a, a very deep roster. They get scoring for many different players, and you almost feel like it's somewhat different leading the charge and scoring every night they play. And the first one falls for it. And with the sun and their depth, it's one of the strengths of this team. They'll all pick each other up if someone struggles. The team plays smart and can attack you from different parts of the floor with different players. Having that fluidity and flexibility makes them a tough opponent. So she gets them both. New York trailing here. Hartley with it. to Gray. Good. And the assist goes to Bria Hartley. Putting her physical gifts to good use. Gray was not going to be denied on that contact finish. And here is Jones. Plays on. Covered by Zowie B. Now here's Clarendon. She's guarded closely. Count it. Good. Everything's going according to plan for them offensively so far. Coaching staff has got to be impressed. And I'm impressed. I mean, the shots have been falling, that's for sure. They're scoring with confidence. Pass to Durr. This is her second shot and four attempts from the field. Here's Bannum. Tries a three. Clarendon, no good. Right outside. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jones. That'll be her second foul of the game. And that's two fouls for her very early in this ball game, which is frustrating. And she's probably going to have to spend some time on the bench before halftime. Gray right side. Hartley outside. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point range. She can't get that one to fall. And it's the Sun taking it the other way. Shot clock and game clock, one second differential. Here's Blazons. Soft touch off the glass. Check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates on the same page. Now 
now Hartley. Quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. Takes the three. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And so the first quarter in the books. The Sun on top, leading by eight. And quarter two will get underway just after this short break. ready to start up and guys what do you think on the sun so far really just the start they wanted to this game solid offense through one not a lot of stalls for them on the offensive end here and so it's new york with it eight point game pass to durr the steal transition here come the sun here's Clarendon finished off the break fantastic pass she made that a very easy bucket with the setup gray outside Hartley and it's blocked and they'll keep possession They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but, hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Hey, hey, go, right Pass to Clarendon. Holmes, guarded by Durr. Just five to shoot. We played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Up top, Hartley. Clarendon covering. The shot goes in. First of the night, she is one for three to start the contest. They worked it in nicely right there. Pass to Bantam. Six to shoot. Here's Holmes. Shoots over Hartley. A rebound by Gray. When I think of players who have really improved as rebounders, I immediately think of Rashonda Gray. Early in her WNBA career, she wasn't putting up the biggest numbers, but with more minutes nowadays, she's been putting in work. That's what I call pretty passive timely recognition as to where the open teammate was. Pass to Tuck. Bantam. Clarendon. Boyd covering. Malaysia Clarendon attacking. She can't hit that time. Good work defensively by Brittany Boyd. Yeah, and Gray has certainly become more developed in the rebounding department. Now, Tim, what do you attribute that to? Well, it's the toughness Gray brings, really, in every facet of her game, including crashing the glass. Rebounding isn't something you just kind of do. You have to be committed, Gray is. Here's Bantam. They get it again. Plays on, gets the bucket. And they continue to control the glass. I think they've been the more physical team, guys, and that's why they're ahead. Usually the more physical, more aggressive team wins the game. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Zowie B. Here's Hartley. Second shot opportunity. Zowie B shot is off. Yeah, remember that. And that's not an opportunity she fails to convert very often. Here's Bannum. Gray defending. Bantam, no good. And the Liberty with possession here. Their defense has allowed only four points in the quarter. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Timeout called the Sun. And a chance here to see the incredible Tina Charles in action. Former MVP, uh, she won the award in 2012, without a doubt, the leader of the New York Liberty.
Plus four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. And with Tina Charles, she has always been great and proved her defense recently. And the defensive improvement goes hand in hand with her rebounding. Always been one of the best rebounders in the league, but now she gives you everything you want on the block. Now here's Thomas. Over Nurse. Steps back and drains the J. Wow, and she doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Charles. Gray outside. Boyd. Thomas with the steal. Thomas with the ball. And so it looks like the Sun will retain possession here. That pass had a little bit too much heat on it for her to make a clean steal. Yeah, that was going to be a tough catch for either of them. I mean, these are basketball players, not wide receivers. Now here's Thomas. Four on the shot clock. Shoots over Boyd. Thomas, no good. The Liberty Trail. And here is Boyd. Back to Nurse. Allen. He's covered by Strickland. Fades back. A nice shot by Charles. She has some old school to her game. Charles, not afraid of scoring in the in-between area of the court. Pass to Thomas. Strickland. Now here's Thomas. Here's Plaisons. Rebound by Gray. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. To the left side wing. Here's Allen. She's covered by Thomas. Back to Boyd. Pass to Nurse for three. Good. And this goes to Brittany Boyd. Such a solid shooter. Nurse has a, a quick release. Makes her dangerous off the feet. Now Thomas. Strickland outside. Now Thomas. Guarded by Charles. With the floater. Allen with the rebound. That's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always so important to have that strong interior defense. And that puts them in the lead. Tough make. You don't end up making over 2,000 baskets like Charles without some hard ones. Now here's Thomas. Boyd covering. Back to Thomas. From downtown, connects from three-point range. A true professional. Thomas is a leader for her young team, both on and off the court. The nurse into the lane. Courtney Williams with the defensive effort. The Sun with the lead. Thomas outside. Pass the plays on. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two. And this Connecticut Sun team, very strong in the boards. Every player contributes to the effort, usually can gain an advantage with their rebound. And for the Sun, terrific rebounders as a group. Yeah, Blake, they just do the little things that add up in closing out possessions. It's not just the size, but the effort the team shows. And they've been one of the better rebounding teams for years now. Second, so she makes both. 
But you talk about the love of women's basketball in Connecticut. It just makes so much sense to have a team like the Sun in the state. The college program at Connecticut has paved the way for basketball in the Constitution State. Now here's Durr. Back to Charles. Blazons pulls it in. Pass to Thomas. Outside Williams. Back to Thomas. A floater. He can't get it to go. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebounding stats uh, for both teams are almost identical. Yeah, they battled to a standstill on the boards, but the game isn't over yet. We'll see who keeps up the energy. Outside Durr. The three. And John Quell Jones pulls it down. And for the most part, the Sun have found a good amount of success since the move to Connecticut. Yeah, the team is still looking for their first WNBA title, though. In Connecticut, I'll tell you, it's a championship or bust when it comes to the hardwood. Fortunately, this side of the team is primed for success in our world of talent. Back to Thomas. to Jones. He and Nurse playing some nice D. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Now here's Nurse. She has seven. Outside Charles. Here's Durr. And again, it's the Liberty missing. Block management, this is where they can get a two-for-one. I love the two-for-one. Every opportunity counts. One thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness drawing contact, putting the defense in some early foul trouble. Good point, and they should get back to that. Continue to press that advantage. Be aggressive. She just hasn't looked right. She, she hasn't. And something is off with her mechanics, I think. Thomas with the ball. She's got seven. Pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Sun ahead. They're up by four. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. quarters. One player who's been getting it done is Tina Charles. Her play in the first half was very disciplined, very efficient. Her shot selection was consistently excellent. That's right. And uh, whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, she's taking only what the defense is giving her and not trying to do too much. And 
It's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. Yo, 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 watch this, watch this. Nurse outside, pass to Allen. And here's Charles. Now Boyd. Oh! And foul called as she misses, and she's gonna shoot two free throws. It's on Shakina Strickland. A California native, Boyd didn't even have to leave the state to play collegiate basketball. That must have felt good. It's her first trip to the line. And the first one drops. That's also good, so she hits them both. And so here is Connecticut. They've led by as much as 10. Strickland outside. Pass to Jones. Williams. Back to Jones. Six on the shot clock. Williams defended by Nurse. From way back. Sun keep it alive. I mean, it would have been something to see her hit all the way back there. There aren't many players that can hit from out there, but she's definitely one of them. Now here's Boyd. Nurse shoots over Williams, and it's wide right, hits off the rim. Well, the transition to the WNBA is not easy. And just ask John Quell Jones, who didn't play much her rookie season but she still had an incredible second season in 2017, setting the WNBA record for rebounds in a season. Here's Thomas. She has seven. Pass to Strickland. Jones. Now here's Thomas. Boots over Boyd. That one off the back iron and out. Yeah, it was great to see Jones find her way with Connecticut. I mean, becoming an all-star for the Sun and winning 2017 Most Improved Player. Well, guys, she didn't just set the rebounding record. Jones shot easily over 50%. A huge reason why the Sun made the playoffs for the first time in five years. Now here's Thomas. Jones right side. Pass to Thomas. Williams defended by Nurse. And again, Connecticut no good. A sluggish start to begin this second half. They're still scoreless. Now here's Boyd. She's covered by Thomas. Nurse outside. Courtney Williams with the defensive effort. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a hard time getting it going. Count the basket. And this offense needed that one after four misses to start the half. New York trailing here. Nurse outside. Pass to Boyd. Back to Nurse. Be with it. Guarded by Jones. And it's going to be a 24 second violation. They'll turn it over. Sometimes the intensity of a close game can lead to bonehead plays like that one, guys. And the Sun making a change here. And here the Sun. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Pass to Holmes. 
Thomas outside. Stolen by Tina Charles. To the wing on the left. Partly good. Very clever passing. She put that ball on a silver platter for him. And here's Thomas. She's got seven. Jones right side. Poked away. Thomas. Oh, draws the hard foul, and she'll head to the line. It goes on Brittany Boyd. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Sinks the second. Even with the miss, she got the big one there to put them in front. Hey, eyes up, watch her. Don't give her space. Hartley outside. Pass to right. Charles with it. Left side, Durr. Shot clock at six. For the lead. Blocked. And they force the shot clock violation. Great defense. Here's Holmes. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And she drops in the layup off glass. Guys, she is a scoring machine. And I know I'm not the only one to describe her that way. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Outside Durr. Yes, and it's Rhea Hartley picking up the assist. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play. Outside Clarendon. Down low. Tuck. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. That one on her. Well, the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs there. Something you struggled with in your career, Tim, but definitely saved the layup with that foul. She's going to have to earn Shoot him at two. the line. And she makes the first. the strike. Hartley with it. Right outside. Pass to Charles. Durr. From deep. A rebound by Holmes. To the paint. The lead pass was put in just the right spot to produce the layup. That's the type of lead pass we've really come to expect from her. Hartley outside. Hey, yo, 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 right here, right here. Inside. <laughs> and you can count it. She'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. They've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. You got to imagine that they're very happy with that. Four straight passes leading to scores. That's just great team play. And the free throw, no good. 
The Sun leading. Here's Bantam. Pass to Holmes. Here's Clarendon. She's guarded by Wright. Now here's Clarendon. D right on her. Rhea Hartley with some nice D. Right, no good. Outside Clarendon. Holmes, she's guarded by Wright. Offensive rebound. Chuck up two right there. The D got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. Now here's Hartley. Left side Charles. Right outside. This one for three. And again, it's the Liberty missing. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front, without question. She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. Now here's Hartley. Knocked loose. To the inside. Makes the bucket. He's now got five field goals. Five for eight on the game. Adept at getting to the rim. A little screen will never hurt Charles, too. She just loves to finish. Clarendon with it. She's guarded by Hartley. Pass to Tuck. Shot clock at five. Here's Holmes. Shoots over right. A rebound by Hartley. Outside Durr. Back to Hartley. Blazons pulls it in. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's been the result for her over and over. I mean, she just cannot find the bottom of the bucket. Now here's Clarendon. Pass to Bantam. Holmes. Great look, but off the mark. I like the skill she showed in the crossover, but the move doesn't mean anything if you can't convert the shot. Garnering so much attention from the defense herself, so Durr plays with her head up and finds open teammates. One of the more unselfish young players in the league, Asia Durr. Her college coach once said that she would come out of halftime and sometimes ask, did I shoot too much? She just wants to be a great teammate, and I admire that. And the Sun call time here. Well, Durr is certainly a player that always puts the team success over her individual success. How important is that for team chemistry? Oh, Blake, I got to say it's huge because it helps your teammates play looser and more free because they know what they can expect from you. And that mindset is contagious. So when everyone else catches on, big things can happen. Bantam. Thomas outside. Clarendon. He's guarded by Hartley. Now here's Williams. Block at six. Outside Clarendon. High arcing shot. The shot, no good. Uh, okay, look, look. I know she isn't having the best of games from the floor, but it hasn't seemed to hurt them. Offensively, she's really struggling this quarter. To stop the crowd. No luck on that one. He and Irv's playing some nice D. Hartley right side. And the bucket counts, and she's on her way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. She'll be shooting her first free throw of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here.
ties it up. Big free throw right there. Well, this is a two-for-one situation, guys. Yeah, Tim, the wise move would be to find themselves a quick shot right here. Pass to Plazons. Back to Williams. Plays it up and in off the pretty assist. No fear. Williams is normally the smallest player on the floor, but she can operate down low with her toughness. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. of contact there, missing the shot, and will shoot two at the line. At the line for your New York Liberty, Kia Nurse. Two shots. Both good at the line. Now Thomas. Eight points for her. From past the arc, it's good from long range. A player who embraces challenges. Thomas doesn't like to set limitations on her game. <laughs> You can tell from that shot from way downtown. And we have just finished the third quarter and a tight game we've got. The Sun on top, up three. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Well, I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. And with the accuracy to go along with that vision, she put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That is how you work. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. It's Shakina Strickland on the wing. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Shooting for the sun. Shaquille Strickland. Two shots. Oh. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. She knocks down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. The Liberty Trail. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Zawi B. Gray. Outside Boyd. Here's Zawi B. And good that time. Running effective pick and rolls it is only a small part of what makes Boyd a premier point guard in this league. Thomas, no good. And so it's New York with it. Great D that time from Shakina Strickland. To the middle. And they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. It could be a three-point play. The Sun making the switch here.
actually came to the sun in a draft day trade. Nurse outside. And a foul on the shot. She'll go to the strike for two. That's on Courtney Williams. I like how they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second half despite the deficit. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Tim, right? I mean, yeah. another good job of drawing contact and getting to the line. you got to force the issue when you're down, as you were saying. The first free throw is good. And good on both. Here's Thomas. Outside Williams. Back to Thomas. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Boyd. Releases from the wing and drills it. Well, because of Thomas's commitment to improvement, she's advanced herself well in the WNBA. Outside Boyd. Pass to Nurse. And there's the call on Jasmine Thomas. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Up top, Jones. Covered by Zowie B. Outside, Williams. Back to Thomas. Here's the floater. And it's blocked by Rebecca Allen. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it. Pass to Boyd. Charles. The jumper in space. What points for Charles? Watch out when she gets going. She won the 2016 scoring title, scoring over 21 per game for the Liberty. Thomas outside. To the inside. Williams. She can't get that one. So New York will take it the other way. Still anybody's game at this point. No question. This becomes a very big possession. Pass to Nurse. And two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. That's on Courtney Williams. And one from the New York Liberty. Kia Nurse. At the line for two. throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. She's been to the line here more than in the first, and I thought she was a little hesitant in the first when she wasn't really getting to the line, but here in the second, she's turned it on. 
Jones inside. Now we be on her. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. And New York called for the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one falls for her. An all-star in just her second WNBA season. Jones is one of many bright spots in the league. She makes one of two as the second one misses. Missed a chance to put them up three. That's going to affect how they set up on defense this trip. Outside Charles. Nurse outside. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Williams. New York, no good that time either. It's almost like she's trying to make things harder on herself. Work it around. Get an easier shot. Pass to Thomas. Strickland, covered by Zowie B. On the wing, Courtney Williams. Shoots! They get the rebound. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Takes great angles when crashing the glass. Jones has mastered the art of rebounding. And the Liberty call time here. Noticing the squad was getting a bit worn out there, and coach called time to let him grab a drink and revitalize. trailing here and here is Boyd pass to Charles now nurse Shoots over Williams a shot by nurse no good Jones with it. Strickland outside. Thomas down low. Guarded by Charles. Thomas, no good. Outside Boyd. Out to the wing. Here's Allen. She's covered by Strickland. Back to Boyd. defensively by Jasmine Thomas. The Sun with the lead. Strickland outside. Here's Williams. Count that one. She just does not let stuff like that affect shots. Williams has a feel for contact. It allowed her to get the points. Outside Charles. to Nurse. Inside. Here's Boyd. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. To the right side. Thomas outside. Outside, Williams. Step back shot. With the rebound. 
Well, she rushed that one, but he was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Nurse outside. And she banks in the layup. You know, that is right where they wanted to get that ball. And so here's Connecticut. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Thomas. Williams. Sixteen feet out, and the shot goes down. So much action these days out of the pick and roll. Williams is made for this type of basketball. A slick dribbling and good decision-making player. Out to the wing. And here's how we beat. To the paint, Allen. And she converts the layup. She picks her out brilliantly with that feed inside. Thomas. Pass to Williams. Strickland defended by Nurse. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. Shooting for the side. Shaquille Strickland taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. She hits both. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. New York calls timeout. Looks like the coach saw some things out there that need adjusting, and it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned. Just look at the shooting percentage. Yeah, that tells the story. She's been unbelievable tonight. Sure, she's gotten great looks, but that means nothing unless you finish plays. Pass to Charles. Shoots over Thomas. Charles, no good. And transition, here come the sun. That one is good again. She is six for eight from the floor with that basket. Well, despite Jones's tall frame, she's got a fluidity to her game that allows her to seemingly glide across the court. Down low. Here's Charles. Gets it to go from eight feet. That's a heads-up play right there, guys. Not just on the assist, but also on the finish. And the Sun all-time here. The coach saw the players were getting winded and called time to give them a quick breather.
Clarendon. Thomas outside. Strickland. Pass to Clarendon. Back to Strickland. Clock at four. Jones with it. Ooh, no luck on that one. Amanda Zowie B with the defensive effort. Here's Allen. He's guarded by Williams. Zowie B shot is off. And terrific defense at the rim got right in her path. And you know they'll be worrying about her next time they take it inside, too. And really, that's what great defenders will do to you. Outside Boyd. To the paint. Charles. Yes, and it's Brittany Boyd picking up the assist. That's why you look for Charles. She's played in so many big games. The big moment, it does not affect her at all. Pass to Jones. Back to Clarendon. Outside Williams. Strickland up top. The three-pointer off the mark. What a big possession right here. No question, guys. Tension palpable. Can you feel it? Oh, man. Can I ever. on the first and that brings them within five and that one goes in two from the line that time and the sun all time of year And an intentional foul right there. them up five. The second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. New York calls timeout. Second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Third shot is off. And they go to the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Shooting for the sun. John Quell Jones. Take a break. Take a Two break. Shots. Two shots. Drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And she hits both free throws, and it's an eight-point ball game. I think that deficit's too much to overcome. You nailed it, Tim. There just isn't enough ticks on the clock. They get the bus, 
going, get the plane going, whatever. And out of bounds, the sun will take it. And so here's Connecticut. Here's Tuck. So we get to see the Sun get the win here. And they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. They really did show some mental fortitude. They were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that's a wrap, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.